hope you're well. So today's video is going to be yet another book review. As I said, I'm going to have a few in a row now. Sorry about that. Um, today I'm going to be talking about 13 Days of Midnight by Leo Hunt. I was sent this book from Hatchet um, in exchange for an honest review. I was sent it all the way back in March and I read it almost as soon as I got it because I just couldn't resist. But obviously I couldn't talk about it because it was so far off the release date. This book is released on the 2nd of July. So just over a week away now. Depending on when this goes up. Hopefully I won't leave it until after it's already out. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, as I said, I read this straight away because I couldn't resist. And it was so good. 13 Days of Midnight is about a young boy called Luke. Who hasn't had a relationship with his father for years, hasn't heard from him, hasn't spoken to him. And then one day he receives a letter in the post that tells him his father has passed away. And that he needs to go and have a meeting with his father's solicitor. So when he arrives there, he finds out that his dad has left him six million dollars. That is not a spoiler, it even says it on the front. Um, and of course he is super excited about this, this is a lot of money. So he, the guy that is telling him this says that he just needs to sign this form and the money will be transferred over to him. So of course he doesn't really read the terms and conditions, he doesn't listen to anything else this man has got to say. He just signs it and he gets out of there. And then pretty much as soon as he comes out of there he starts to feel like he's being watched and followed. And what Luke doesn't realise is that he didn't only inherit six million dollars by signing this form. He also inherited eight ghosts. Because when his father was alive, he was a very powerful necromancer. And he tied the um, spirits, these spirits to his, his soul, basically. And so he became their master. And now he is dead and Luke has signed this contract... He now becomes their master. But these ghosts are angry. And they want revenge for the way that Luke's father treated them. Because now Luke is their master. The revenge they're going to have is going to be taken on him. And that is primarily the synopsis of this story. Without me going into too much detail. This book was absolutely fantastic. Every, every now and again a book comes along that just feels like it's been written for me. I'm sure you guys get that as well. Where it just has everything in it that you could want from a story. And this book had that for me. Because it was a ghost story. We all know how much I love my ghost stories and my horror. But it was a ghost story that was very, very different. I don't feel like I've ever read a book like this before. Um, Because it wasn't like an average just sort of haunting, like, yeah, it wasn't just an average sort of haunting ghost story. This boy isn't just being haunted as normal ghost books are. Um, each ghost has a name, it each has its own look that is described throughout the book, and the way these ghosts look is based on how they behaved in life. So, for example, I won't tell you them all, because that's one of the most fun bits of the story, is learning about them all, but one of them who is called the thief. Um, is he called the thief? No, the prisoner. The prisoner. Sorry, he's called the prisoner. And he was a thief in real life. And basically, he has no clothes apart from a disgusting, a dirty old pair of pants, like Y fronts. And he is covered in like cuts and markings and stuff like that and he carries around with him a pair of rusty shears um but i guess he sort of uses to intimidate people i suppose um and it was just so cleverly done i love all these ghosts just had their these characters of their own it was really really it sort of was like they weren't ghosts they were actual people um and you sort of had to just keep reminding yourself of it but yeah i just thought it was a really original story that I really really enjoyed um, and basically the gist of the story is that he gets to working with a, another girl who's quite spiritual and 
basically these ghosts are planning something massive um, and it's up to these two to try and stop it before Halloween because this book is set in the run up to Halloween and as Halloween approaches the ghosts kind of become stronger and on Halloween that is just one time of the year that they are at their strongest and their most powerful to really do a lot of damage so yeah this this I, w I really wish I'd waited actually if I had not to review it I probably would have waited until October to read it because it is just the perfect Halloween type book and I may even reread it which I don't do that often I don't reread books that often because I have as you can see so many t to read but I think I might do that with this one just because it was so good and as I say perfect for Halloween if you haven't already guessed I gave it five out of five stars on Goodreads and I highly recommend if you're into ghost stories and you want something a little bit different that you pick up this book. It was so good. Uh, and can I just show you as well something I thought was really good. It's got really cool chapter headers. They're all on this like black. Let me just show you a bit of a better one because I don't think that's like the best one to show you. But they all start on this like black um, paper. And I just thought that was really cool contrast this isn't the finished cover by the way as i said this is a proof um but the finished copy will look like that i hope that's a good enough picture maybe i'll put a bigger one in i don't know um but yeah so that is my review on 13 days of midnight by leo hunt i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all in my next one bye